Now, as we just showed you, the Warriors opened their season with a win tonight. They have spent most of the summer in training camp getting ready for the season. One of their players, though, took time out for a different kind of camp this summer, one that just might have an impact on his future outside of football. Much like dozens of teams across Central Virginia, the Matilica Warriors have spent weeks getting ready for this football season. Jamal Smith, for one, has a lot of confidence going into the year. I think we're going to be absolutely amazing. I hopefully we're 11 and 0 this year instead of 9 and 2 like last year. Rolling out. Jamal was part of last year's team that had the best regular season in school history. Zone to the right, zone to the right. This year, he's learning a new position on the offensive line at center. On the guard's head up, G. Something for which he's been practicing all off season. The center job is more harder because you got to make sure the snap is on point. Take a little bit off of it. Got to have good speed on the ball and you can't mess up on the snap or you could get a fumble. Jamal was one of those kids, right back into the weight room, right back into to working hard, to learning, to doing what they're supposed to do. You want to be up on 40 or back. You're coming way too sharp. Learning is something else Jamal does well. If he's not on the football field, he's capturing his surroundings through one of his other favorite hobbies, photography. Jamal's work was good enough to be entered in the school's art fair last year. It's not unusual to see him going around the school with the, with the camera, taking pictures. I may go do that in my future life, but it's just one of my options on my list right now. And his love of learning and photography took him in a direction this summer for which he could never have prepared. Jamal's mother saw an ad for a two-day training academy with the Richmond field office for the FBI. Whether she asked him about his interest in even going to it is up for debate. She kind of did, not really, but kind of. But Jamal dutifully filled out the application and wrote an essay on why he should be selected out of nearly 100 applications statewide. What he wrote got him noticed. His essay was very heartfelt. It was very personable. Um, it really stood out amongst all of the different essays that I read. Over the course of just two days, Jamal's opinion of federal law enforcement changed, as did his interest in a possible career all part of the goal of the academy. We have students who apply who know that this is one of what they want to do, and then we have students like Jamal who are a little on the fence. There is some interest there, but we're hoping that the, by going through the academy, we've whet some appetites and uh, you know, kind of plant the seed for, for future recruitment. Jamal is now considering merging his love of photography with an FBI career as a crime scene photographer. Be ready, gotta be ready. His work ethic and diligence makes it something of a safe bet for his future. He's a hardworking guy, you know, and he's always looking for something that can make him better. There it is. And, and that's kind of something we focus on and, and, and trying to be a well-rounded person. All right, on the ball. It would, wouldn't surprise me a bit. I think whatever goal he sets his mind to, he's going to work hard enough to achieve it. All right, nice job here. Now the FBI Academy is only held once each year, so if you're interested, the next opportunity will come around next summer. The Warriors' next opportunity for a win will be next week when they travel to Culver Hill as they look to start their season 2-0 for the second straight year.